Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Welcome aboard, folks. It's Murder Hobo Inc., the tri generational campaign, the Margu Heroes. <laughs> the realm. Uh, yikes. Uh, if you saw the lead in, you know these guys are in a whole lot of trouble, and that means hilarity will ensue. Uh, before we get to that, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit in Discord, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to see it on the one shot or on the Tuesday talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. We do have an audio-only podcast if you don't look like looking at this. Uh, I haven't put uh, many up at all, just one. Uh, but that will change this week. So for all of you who want to listen to us in your cars or at work when the video would be inappropriate, uh, that is a coming. Uh, I said it. I'll say it again. This is the Margu campaign. These guys are the tri-generational ones. So uh, whew, what a mix. Uh, we start uh, with the eldest, most revered member, uh, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, I am the old man of the bunch. And Leaf, the only sane druid in the party. Yeah. How many druids do you have in your party? That's what I thought. Uh, little Frank. Oh, it's me. I'm Manpeg. That's it. I got a diploma in everything, and I'm very intelligent. Oh, yeah. And a diplomat. And a diplomat. And a medic. And a medic. Uh, I have uh, things. The ladies love me. Middle Frank, uh, welcome back. We know you've been gold. And he just found out he is a lycanthro. <laughs> Uh, where rat Frank, tell us about you and your character. Well, I'm Robert of Zeppelin, the most infamous bard slash sorcerer slash slash where rat, where rat of uh, many, many. Yes, I will be crossbreeding <coughs> with many, many, many where women, more women, more rat, women. where turtles. Or tur yeah. I like to crossbreed it's, generation. It's gross. <laughs> All right, that is problematic. At best. I gotta make little ninja turtles. Oh, no, you're training them. You're the one who's going to train them in the sewers. Right. Well, right now, uh, the thing That's we didn't tell you is that yeah. you are bound up like a cannoli. Ooh. Uh, and that would be courtesy of AJ. AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the last sane werewolf hunter. And I am keeping my one good eye on Robert. I fade into the shadows. Boy. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, the one, the only, the hairless, copious V bitters. Jason, tell us about your character. Or not. Uh, uh, captain Copious Volvis III is the uh, well known, renowned pirate captain. And he is also quite hairless, a la Dr. Evil at the moment, thanks to a, 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 a shaman in the village. And I'm pretty sure when you say try campaign, you mean T-R-Y, trying campaign. It's very trying for me. I can only imagine. <laughs> uh, captain, my captain, where exactly is your ship right now? Uh, it's, it's hidden uh, in a masterful stroke. We sent it out to sea to avoid the large uh, uh, attack vessel that was cruising these waters. That is a wise idea. With a show of hands, who this knows where this back. vehicle is? And therein lies the problem. Haggis, Folks, get in here, Haggis. These guys are at Dimbo Point, a turtle refuge. Uh, they were hired to go ahead and take care of a Crokin Raider problem, a.k.a. Tabaxi Pirates. And I believe we did. I believe you have. Uh, however, there are issues, uh, least of which is Robert of Zeppelin being a were rat bound uh, up. Uh, the entire village is in disarray as Tabaxi and Tortle regulars have stormed in uh, due to a three ship firefight. Uh, Leaf the Druid turned into a, what did you turn into? 
That would be a reef shark. A reef Tim. shark uh, to figure out uh, what was going on. Meanwhile, Felix and Copius did an overland search. Uh, the hairless Copius V bitters. Nobody really knows where Haggis Crabstain, uh, Tony Dakota, the tabaxi drug smuggler, Pierre. Uh, is Phineas with you guys? Yeah, Phineas is with you guys, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, two total assistants that probably did not kill Haggis in his sleep. Uh, their vessel is MIA. The supplies they arrange to have for their job uh, are sitting on the dock by the bay with Otis Redding. Meanwhile, uh, it is a full moon. Uh <laughs> Robert of Zeppelin has just been tied up and everybody is hiding. Gentlemen, welcome back to the game. Uh, as sounds of shouting and screaming can be heard throughout the main community, what would you like to do? Not Choosing all in my ropes. <laughs> uh, give me a dexterity check. Oh, sure. Who are you going to kill first? Anybody and everybody. All right. You know the way. I thought you were going to say 18. Uh, yes, the ropes went all the way up to your neck, and your loud or uh, extended proboscis is now nibbling through. I will need observation or slash perception checks from Felix, uh, Manfang, Copious, and Leaf. Leaf is out to sea. Oh, that's right. You're still you're, you're you're swimming into the bay, aren't you? Yes. 22? 22 observation. Couldn't find the mute button. Uh, nine, which is ironic because I haven't taken my eyes off of him. <laughs> Man fang. <laughs> Went cross-eyed. Uh, what are we doing? I have... Perception I have... check. Oh, Felix, perception. you Great. are listening to the screams and yells of the... He's my yeah. dice holder. I honestly thought his response was in character. Sure. Wait, perception? Yeah, you get your paper. Oh, yeah. uh, plus two, 13, 15. Uh, I'll give you that. Uh, you and copious fee bidders notice Robert of Zeppelin, a.k.a. Where Rat Man, chewing through the ropes. <laughs> I'm going to look at Felix and point out that he's chewing through the ropes and ask Felix to crack him on the head with that silver dagger. Don't stab him, but bop him one. Uh, and let's see if we can't get something a little sturdier than these ropes for this sucker to chew through. How about metal? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll bop him one. Uh, I, I will give you advantage plus two because he's bound up. He should be an easy target to hit. Get his attention, Felix. He is an R O U S at the time. Leaning. Unless he fumbles. Leaning. That's Leaning what I'm fumble. For. Let me see here. Uh, I guess I'm attacking him, right? Yep. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, Robert, give me a constitution check, please. It's 13. Uh, he is stunned. How big is he right now? Is he begin he's transformed fully or so? He has transformed fully. The moon is past its zenith. So is, is he like a, a, a giant rat of great and unusual size or is he? <laughs> he is an R-O-U-S. Okay. Uh, is there uh, any sort of large barrel we can shove this thing into? <laughs> On this side of the bridge? No. Uh, there is, however, the shrine under construction. You might be able to find some kind of equipment there. All right. I, I'm gonna, hey, Felix, we need something stronger to hold this guy down. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, a barrel ain't going to do it. That's you right through a damn barrel. Let's, I'm going need... to... Take Manfang. We'll go look at the uh, the uh, temple under construction. See what we can find. No, we need to go find a jewelry store and go get some silver chains. I we're we're on Turtle Island. This is like Gilligan's Island with turtles. <laughs> well, then we need to go find the professor <laughs> and get him to make us a coconut telephone. Hey, Felix, go to that chain. shaman. Sure. Maybe if you let her shave you, she'll give you one. That's I don't true. want her to shave me. Ugh. Just don't don't giggle when that cold blade goes around your nether regions. As I look over at the map of Dimbo Point, I do not see a jeweler. <laughs> <laughs> what about a bank? Uh, nah, they aren't going to let uh, us rob a bank. However, 
<laughs> I've got these silver tipped arrows. And by my count, I think I've still got about eight or nine of them left. The curved so ones? Can, the curved ones. Yeah. Yes. I bought them for just such an occasion. Perhaps we could put them in strategic places where when Robert touches them, it'll burn his flesh so he can't open doors, locks, some, something of that nature. How about Box. we do this? How about we just take like a big continue? Not continue. I, I got nothing. Or we could just take the arrows and like poke them with them every three seconds. I'm seeing genital mutilation on the menu this evening, too. So I should remind people that this is for mature audiences only. Uh, yes, you could probably, you know what? Give me an intelligence check. Jesus. I yeah, hope you mean me, thing, not you too, but yes. <laughs> Yeah, man not, thing, not I'll roll this one for you. Yeah, I'll roll for you. Dirty 20. Uh, in the words of Galaxy Quest, as you look around to try and construct a rudimentary lathe, you figure out that you can probably poke the silver arrows up through the rope, performing a uh, Silence of the lamb style mask, if you will. Uh, but I'm going to need a performance roll so that you don't scald him as you attempt to go ahead and make this headpiece. Can you feel the love, Frank? Tell me, Clarice. Uh, did you like it when your panties were wet? 21. Like so any scalding will be intentional. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you give him the ye old pitchfork mask, and that should prevent him from chewing through any of the ropes. Uh, as chaos reigns inside Dimbo Point, uh, Copious and was it Manfang went Manfang. over to construction? Yeah, we were going over to construction, trying to avoid any crowds or being seen as we go. Oh, they, that, that is not a problem. All of the crowds are over on the other side, uh, the main section of town here. Uh, you guys are over here by the shrine under construction in the woods. Uh, ergo, no one is around you yet. <laughs> and just that, again, at this point, I know there's chaos. Have we seen attackers yet or just seen the, the turtles up from the village running and screaming? You saw, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of tabaxi encountering the turtles up here on the ridge, causing you guys to make an expeditious retreat as fur started to pop out of Robert of Zeppelin's body. Yeah, but uh, Felix and I killed the uh, uh, tabaxi up there too, correct? That's correct. Because, all right. But, all right. So yeah, uh, Manfang, you're with me to see if we can't find something to, to lock down the where we're at? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Felix, I assume you are going to keep an eye on Robert of Zeppelin? Oh, hell yeah. And Leaf, <laughs> uh, the druid, the last sane uh, druid in the party, uh, are you trying to get back to the bay? I think you did get back to the bay, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was swimming back. I went out an hour and back an hour. I get two hours in my shape. Okay. So uh, uh, the idea was to swim back and check in, and then I'll go the other way. Okay, uh, you check into nobody. The boxes are still hidden in the uh, forest section where you guys hid them before. Uh, and there appears to be several pitched battles going on. At least that's what it sounds like. Okay, but I don't see any of my party on the shore. <laughs> they ditched your ass. <laughs> Somebody yelled cops and they left. <laughs> I'm going to turn back into the shark and head the other direction then. Fair enough. As you do so, uh, you notice something unusual, and that is the ship you were tailing where the pitched battle was, and this is where you encountered it, is now not following the white line where you went, but is off on this small set of islands. Hmm. Where I believe the professor and Mary Ann. How far out is that? Uh, that's about a mile. I might head out that way then, just so, uh, out of curiosity. Want to, do you want to parallel them? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, you head out there. It's going to take a while. Copious, Manfang, uh, what do you want to do at the construction site? Please be careful. The insurance is not going to cover any injuries. Manfang, right. what do you think? 
I don't know. It's really, really, it's your idea, man. You do whatever you want. Let your, let your create. I, from my, today, my irritative creativity has flown. So now let's see yours. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wash your hands of the whole affair. That's what I'm getting. Uh, so I'm going to look around number one to see is there someplace here we could stash a were creature that would be easier to lock down. Uh, is the temple being made of stone or wood? Uh, it is a stone base, uh, but wooden planks are present. So it is clearly going to be some type of cedar or teak wood. Um, it, but but these stone place, squares are laid. Okay. If there's a place to stow the were rat, if not, is there uh, any materials that could be used to contain the were rat? A, a case, a trunk, a barrel, um, chain, chains, rope. There is metal rope. chain. We'll take the metal chain. I'm going to ask uh, Manfang, can you help me? Yeah. Call this metal chain. Let me be clear. Manfang, can you carry this metal chain? I guess. We'll try. I'll haul it right back to where we left Felix. Felix and Robert of Zeppelin are here in these woods. Uh, this appears to be a decent spot to stash him as well. And this, of course, is the shrine under construction. You're dragging some chains over to me. I, am I dragging chains? You guys were cutting out. You're a ghost. Oh, cool. He just couldn't hear what Jason was saying. It just sounded like mumble mumble. He, he was cutting in and out. Uh, but yes, he has directed you Come to go ahead and gather up. <laughs> he, he, you are gathering it and carrying it back to the area where they are all. Do I need to do like a strength check or anything? No, it's just normal chain. All right, then it's not that bad. Do, All right, I, cool. do I need to make a roll to cast disguise? For you? Yeah, yeah. you can't cast anything. My yeah, time you're, you're a were rat. You can't do jack. Yeah. You can try and gnaw through the ropes again, but you notice that uh, the arrows of Felix are effervescent. I can smell that you've wet your panties, Felix. Yeah. Does the thought of me cutting your flesh and shoving it in your mouth frighten you? Felix, you hear me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give you guys about a half hour to hatch out this plan. Meanwhile, Leaf. <coughs> Excuse me. Like monkey. Uh, <clears throat> Leaf, you head out into the uh, uh, ocean and you parallel these guys. Uh, you notice that they're going to go ahead and take the short route around. And there, lo and behold, there's another turtle vessel. I'm going to swim up to the other turtle vessel. Okay. See if anything looks familiar to me. <laughs> it is exactly like your vessel, except the nameplate. It's not your vessel. Go ahead and D12 against me, Leaf. Well, uh, my D12s are still hot from last night. Yeah, uh, your D12s suck. Hang on, I gotta find it. <laughs> 12. We roll. Not 12. <laughs> I got a one. I got a uh -huh. one. You have been spotted by one of the turtles who is a wee bit on the hungry side. He hefts his javelin. Dark fin soup. Four. Uh, it splashes harmlessly into the water. So I give him the fin. Very good. And go deep. Okay. I think, well... I'll save the comment on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, be careful now. Be careful. Uh, uh, that, that one was a little bit too easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, you notice that Robert of Zeppelin is, uh, you can tell in his little pea-sized rat brain, he's trying to come up with a solution here. <laughs> I'm going to call forth to my rat brother in, out in the woods to come forth and chew my ropes. If you make a single peep, I'm going to smack you again. And this time I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say something intimidating like, hey, shut the hell up. That's intimidating. Ooh. Something intimidating. <laughs> uh, do you want to say something there, Robert of Zeppelin? 
I was calling forth my rats in that high pitched squeal that his human ears couldn't hear. Give me an uh, intimidation. I've been watching you. I see that rope moving. Who's rolling? Uh, Felix is rolling intimidation. Oh, that's going to be a good one. 24. Uh, Robert, uh, go ahead and give me a roll. We'll do uh, insight to see if you can beat him. There's no way possible. I only got a plus two. Nat 20 would do it. Nope. Okay. Uh, you're thinking maybe uh, Felix. You know what, Felix? It's been a while. Give me a con save. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. I knew it. <sighs> Come on, one. Oh, seven. Yeah, he's sweating profusely. You aren't sure if he's got uh, malaria or the waitress bite or there is something going on. I mean, he just looks banana land crazy. I mean, there's something not right about him now. And the sweat is just pouring off of him like an airplane. It's just rolling <laughs> off him. Now you know why you're intimidated, Robert. Uh, clearly, he, he snapped. It's over. He, it. He's, he's going to do it. He's itching an awful lot. So do you want to uh, – that's copious. Uh, do, do you want to continue to try and call your rat brethren, knowing full well that this guy is not stable anymore? Yeah, do it. Well, he, do I it. figured I'm do intimidated, it. isn't that? I triple dog dare you. You are intimidated, rightfully so. So then I figured, no, I probably wouldn't. That's right, right you won't. <laughs> Uh, Felix, you hear some crashing through the woods. Uh, give me an insight check, please. You know, there for a minute, I thought, I thought he was channeling Brian, guys. Dirty 20. Uh, something approaches the same way Copious and Manfang left. I hope Manfang's ready for a silver arrow in <laughs> Polaka. And it sounds like a ghost because there are chains rattling. <laughs> I'm going to very carefully you you would do. take my eyes off Robert for one split second. I know this is a mistake, but I'm going to look in that direction where I hear the chains coming from. <laughs> uh, you, you see the hairless baby copious V bitters <laughs> crash through the basin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shoot. Again. Don't shoot me again. Quit spooking me like that. Don't Don't shoot me on accident. (laughs) Again. 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 Uh, It appears as though Manfang is dragging some chains that might or might not be useful for uh, relegating uh, Were Rat Boy. Awesome. Can you guys uh, keep an eye on him for a second? I I got the vapors. Copious and Manfang, you notice that the sweat is pouring off Felix. The sweat is not pouring off you two. Uh, and he, he's got that crazy eye look. I'm going to ask him, are you okay, man? You feel okay? Come fine. on. I'm fine. Like, well, are you sure? I look fine. It's just a little warm out here tonight. All right. All right. All right. I'm just. Why don't you go outside and catch a smoke or something? See if that calms your nerves. You guys are outside. You're in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. I think you're having a withdrawal, man. I thought we locked uh, Robert up inside the, a building. Oh, that's Probably right. Be- you did. Yeah. You guys were in 14. Yeah. I think you're having a withdrawal. My bad. Meowy wowie. Have you been hitting the, the wacky tobacco again? Yes, I have. Oh, I mean, I'm just every night. <laughs> That's why this game is so enchanting. Yes, you guys are over here by the water. I think you should go take a quick, like, rinse your face off from the spring. Yeah, off. remember what happened last time I did that shit? <laughs> that oh, that was it. hilarious. Uh, everybody but leaf roll perception checks, please. Oh, no. Hey. Uh, less than one, my bonus. Seven, 21 if it matters 10 it does matter uh robert you notice everything has gone silent 
But these three are still arguing about the pluses and minuses of Man Fang's chain wearing ability. Uh, but you notice with your keen uh, rodent ears, uh, there ain't no fighting going on anymore. Leaf, how about you give me a perception check? That's just a problem. What am I going to do? Nobody can understand me. Exactly. Muted. Uh, 20. Natural 20. Uh, the two ships are not in pursuit of you. Okay. Uh, how big is this island? Yeah, probably not that big. Yeah, probably about the size of Dimbo Point, maybe a little bit smaller. I'm just going to take a loop around it before I head back to toward the shore. Sure. Give Make me sure there's nothing else around there. You know what? D12 against me. I haven't killed anybody with an Damn it, I can't roll 12. 12. You encounter no uh, marine life as you circle it. You do not encounter any other ships. There is no Kobayashi Maru, no USS Reliant. Uh, it's just those two turtle vessels. Neither one of which was our turtle vessel. That is correct. I'm going to head back toward the shore <coughs> and proceed up the coast the opposite direction from which I was before. Fair enough. Uh, in doing so, you notice that. Oh, perception is plus four. It appears as though there is another inlet to the north. I didn't. I didn't see anything. Oh, uh, you know, it helps if I actually select it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, okay. You see another inlet uh, due north of Dimbo Point. I will go into <clears throat> said inlet and take a look around. Fair enough. Uh, in doing so, Felix Copius Manfang, give me perception checks, please. John. 21. Natural 20. 14. Uh, you, you three notice uh, his nose is starting to shrink. His uh, rat-like rat -like features seem to be fading uh, as you go deeper into the night. Okay. I don't. Does this change our plan here, Felix? We we had Manfang drag all this chain. I still say we we string him up. <laughs> Damn, I agree, man. You guys are cold. <laughs> verbiage, man. Verbiage. <laughs> so let's we're let's we're still going to tie him down with the chain. That sounds like a great plan. You guys tie him down. I'm going to step outside for a moment. Excellent, you guys Felix. Got anything in here? <laughs> Felix, as the sweat continues to pour off your brow and <clears throat> your hands are clammy, uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you have company. Eight. Eight. Reroll. Eleven. Ten. Damn it. Torches are headed this way. <laughs> are they? Do I see them as I step outside then? Mm-hmm. I'm going to step back inside and uh, alert the fellow party members and just say, uh, guys, a bunch of, there's a bunch of torches outside. <laughs> How far Maybe. along are we in wrapping Robert up in chain? About halfway. And you can tell that uh, his patchy fur is becoming far less patchy and his uh, peaked skin is returning. I'm sorry, his ruddy man features are returning. Should we try to communicate with him now? Is he still, was he able to talk to us the whole time at all? Or did he like fully transform and he was gone? Robert, he fully transformed. Uh, Robert, uh, give me an intelligence check. I, he's going to sound like a strung out Mickey Mouse. No, oh, 18. <laughs> He talks in short, choppy sentences uh, and huffs his breath a lot, but he is able to communicate in common. Yes. Yeah. 
That was riveting. <laughs> Let me go outside and check on these torches a little bit one more time. Hey, Keep uh, hey, I listen. Let's leave him here. He's all bound up. If he if he transformed back to his normal self, great. We'll go out in the outside the building here, run into the woods, and watch to see who's coming from the torches. We can leave Manfang in the room with him. You sneak away in shadows. I sneak away in shadows. Keep an eye on the building. And then if if it's not our turtles, we'll come in and attack. That sounds right. fine with me. Let's do it. You're staying there. Anything yeah. that gets like me outside, outside, out of this heat. I don't know what it, it is, is in this room. room. Attack me. I'm at I'm so did you want to go into the woods? Toward, well, or the fields? Yeah. The field. One of us go to the field and the other go around building 15. On yeah, the split field the party. Side, so see. Then hide in the garage with all the chainsaws. That's because that makes sense. Don't give him the running car. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you do that and you hear shouting. Whoever's in the fields here shouting better than whoever's around number 15. Inside, Robert, who is slowly coming back into Robert form, and Manfang can hear angry villagers. Adventurers, come out with your hands up. Not even today in here. Is it a turtle accent that we hear, or a no, 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 accent? No, no, no. It no. is a turtle what, 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 what accent. dialect can I use? I'm going to use a different dialect. No oh boy. I'm going to use. Should be really glad the cats aren't coming in while he's still in rat form. Payback. I'm gonna. I I can use Dorvish as one of my like talking things. Cannot possibly go wrong. I can. <laughs> so you're going to do your. Dwarvish impression. No, I'm not going to do a dwarfish impression. I'm going to speak in it so they can't oh. understand me. So I sound foreign. You know what? Let's see how smart this guy is. He answers in fluent dwarvish with a name. <laughs> <Hey, wait. laughs> I've got more diplomas than I do. Uh, Frankie, the dead dogs have more diplomas. Shut up. Uh, he answers and speaks again. Bring your short little arms out, dwarf. <laughs> Go out there. <laughs> Keep in mind, Robert is still chained up and tied up. I, I think I'm not there to suggest something, I, but I have an idea. I'm still going to llama bite you. I know. I'm going to ride him like Rhino, <laughs> like Spider Man does. You're going to unhook me? I'm gonna un I'm gonna untie you from the thing and then like wrap my arm around your neck and point you out the door and I want you to run. It's kind of like that one scene from yeah, and you're gonna go okay. Uh -oh. You do know he's Robert of Zeppelin the Half Orc now, right? Not the wear rat. Yep. Oh, now you're orc. Hi, you're back. Hi. He unwraps. Uh without, since you haven't mentioned this to Robert, go ahead and mount up with a performance roll, please. God. <laughs> <laughs> 200 pounds. How much can you, how much do you lift? How much you squat? Don't worry, you'll know. <laughs> he doesn't skip leg day. I hope. Ooh. What's performance? Ooh. 11. Do I just fall off? No, you, you give a very entertaining visage with your head perched on his shoulder, your hands wrapped around his throat, but not so much that he, you're choking him. And I will say that you so smack I'm him in the ass. His hands the behind my back, so he's like on top of my hands, right? No, he's untied you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab his nuts and cast, uh, you know, burning hand. Ah, if you do that, I punch you in the dome. Just a light. Just a light baking. Just a light baking to get him the hell off me. <coughs> sure. Uh, it's like from Red Dead, you're gilding me. Yes. So I assume you're trying to do minimal damage? Yes. Just a little get the hell off me. Uh, how, how many dice is that? Ah, uh, just a couple. <laughs> it's it's only three dice six. Uh, roll three die six and then roll them again. You may take the lowest amount. So roll all three dice. 
add them, and then roll all three dice again and give them the lowest roll. How big is the wooden building you're in, Robert? It's the exact same number, how, <laughs> different number. How old, How big was the building? <laughs> <laughs> so how much damage did he sustain to his genetic... The, the lowest genetic number since they both were the exact same number? Nine. You take nine hit points of damage. Would you like to attempt to hang on to Robert of Zeppelin? That's to your nutsack, well, bud. You know, that sucker's getting punched in the dome. I figured that was a useless piece of flesh that we could deal without. That's true. Go ahead and punch him in the dome. I'm, in the I'm, dome. I'm gilding my horse. Shut up. Um, so it's here. Where's my dice roller? Felix, another con save for me, please. So, so Ken, because yeah, I'm right like, next to you, I have to roll? Like, um, it's unarmed attack. Is what yeah, you're I doing. know. Where, Where is, is it? it? I'm just going... 18, I can still hit you. I know. Yeah, you got me. 18 plus, and then I rolled this. I don't know. What's, what is, where's your attack? 18 dice? plus 8. I, I hit you anyways. <laughs> and then I rolled this. See how much damage I did. So how much and Van Munich, Felix the Plague Victim, like, Robert the, the Wing, and Bear Rat. He comes me for one. This is what to love that. Fair enough. As you two roll around on the floor of the structure, the door is kicked in and several large, heavily armed turtles enter. Felix, outside. Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. And you look over at Copius, and there is a beautiful woman caressing his cheek lovingly. I mean, she's just top shelf gorgeous. Oh. And she does this. Oh. <laughs> if it were a cartoon, I would be like floating over there. Wait, do I notice this? His sudden interest in me? You hear the structure get kicked in and think, holy shit, it's going bad. And then you see. I figured he looked like Beetlejuice <laughs> when he's heading to the whorehouse. <laughs> He looks like choice? something. <laughs> so Felix leaves his place of concealment and just starts to saunter out into the open. And you're looking around thinking he's surrendering to somebody and there is just nobody there. And he's with all the seduction skills I can gather. <laughs> and he is headed your way. You see shadows moving as the building that Robert and uh, Manfang are in is getting surrounded by more sailors. Uh, oh, it's about to get fun is just mm -hmm. walking out into the open. Break over to Leaf. Uh, do you want to go in that waterway or stay out? I will go in the waterway. <clears throat> right about here, you find uh, a swampy area. But you also find a ship. Is it a turtle ship? It is a turtle ship. Does it look familiar? Uh, you can't really tell because they all look alike because you're a turtle ship racist. However, <laughs> uh, you do recognize the people sitting on top of the boat, enjoying the nice moonlit evening, smoking some kind of herbage. Yeah, it smells like that, that, that pussycat stuff. It does. They're cutting into your profit margin. Sons of bitches. I and they're will... just having a great night. Is the uh, hat side hatch open on this ship or not? Nay. Both hatches are open. Yeah, they're just sitting there basking in the moonlight, enjoying the I night. will swim up to the ship and convert. Uh, before you do that, roll D12. Let's see if they spot you in shark form. Oh, I'm sons of bitches. Nine. Uh, Nine. You manage to sneak up on him and magically appear as yourself. Oh, Jesus, walking across water. Uh, Haggis, Pierre, uh, Tony, and the two turtle are startled. Let's see if anybody falls. Haggis goes into the drink. <laughs> Pierre joins him. Uh, Tony Montana is fine. 14 and 16. The turtles are also fine. They seem unfazed. Uh, it appears as though the Meowie Wowie has an effect, but not the same effect on the turtles. Well, I will uh, try to assist Haggis 
and getting back up on the ship. Sure. Uh, what's going on, boss? What are we doing? Been looking for you guys. You didn't tell anybody where you were headed. You didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you said hide the ship. Mm-hmm. I I heard the order and I followed it. When were people you would have on, died. When were you planning on coming back? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we need to head back right now. Everybody's waiting on us. Oh. It's dark out. That don't matter. Okay. At least there's a mostly full moon out there. Uh, the he does not relinquish control of the ship because he is Captain Hoggis Crabstain and immediately starts heaving orders at everybody, including yourself. Uh, he tells you to get on the side of Tony Montana uh, as Pierre, first mate Pierre, uh, is uh, barking out the orders with the two turtles on the other side. Apparently, oh. these guys have gotten fairly good at what they do because as Pierre barks out the orders uh, like uh, oh crap who was it uh, the movie with Kelsey Grammer Periscope Down or Periscope Up or Up Periscope and it was Rob whoever he barks the orders out like a very well trained Navy man from World War II <gasps> prepare to go Rob you're talking about the animal yes the hell's his name, Frankie? Rob Schneider. There Schneider. it is. So uh, they move so quickly that regardless of how you handle your ore, they're moving forward. Uh, and a sea dirge has started to be sung by Pierre. Jesus Christ. All right. Welcome back, boss. <laughs> <clears throat> they even know where they're going. Much to your chagrin. Tony oh, Montana no, I'm happy. Yells, I ain't going to say a word as long as they ain't heading back the right way. Well, Tony Montana yells at you and goes, chime in <laughs> as this happy crew of leftovers seems to be getting along swimmingly. I, I will pass on the chiming in and just concentrate on what I'm doing. You're no fun at all. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the ship is underway. Meanwhile, uh, Man Fang, Robert, as you two roll around like your teenage lovers in high school, the door has been kicked in and there are, well, let's see how many. Six tortle sailors. <laughs> oh. The, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Uh, the leader asks if you two lovebirds are done. If so, in Dwarvish, raise your hands. <laughs> hey, can you just get them? I need more armor. Okay. Yeah. Are these good guys or bad guys before I ask? Before he does it. Oh, I'm sorry. How would you know? <laughs> I wouldn't. I, you know what? I wouldn't. Go All ahead. I know is I was chained up. I'm unchained and somebody just busted the door and looking threatening. Let's burn the shit out of this place. Bitch has got to die. I will take initiative from you two, initiative yes! from Felix, and initiative from Copious. Not 20, baby. That'll be the last of them. Uh, 15. Oh, 16, actually. 16. Nice 16. one. 21. 21. Nice. Uh, Felix, enamored by the celestial beauty, you pick up the pace because you don't like her touching copious because that's just gross. It's like she's the Madonna holding a baby child. And you, <laughs> you are a man. She needs a man. You are this is that all known, man. <laughs> uh, and you begin to uh, charge to knock copious over. Uh, oh, let, let's move inside with the Nat 20. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, there are six turtle here. Cone of flame, baby. Cone of flame, burning hand. Wow. Meet at the Winchester. Oh. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Ooh. Inferno. Hey, you, 
does Robert remember that he was like our lead spokesperson in this village before he starts setting fire to everybody? <laughs> he, he's coming out of the uh, transformation. Yeah. I, I, I literally, because of the transformation, I have no idea what's going on. I just know I came out, chained up, pissed off, and somebody busted in and threatened me. Yeah. Uh, the guy behind you. To everything is just kill everything, burn it down, hide the witnesses, and figure it out. Uh, witnesses? I, I, I believe that's your tramp stamp, isn't it? <laughs> Leave the witnesses. No witnesses. It's right on his back. Yeah. You got to hide them. The, wit- the eye and witnesses inverted. And the dot, ah, never mind. <laughs> if the witnesses have no eyes, they're not eyewitnesses. AJ, hey, you're welcome. You'll see that one in your dreams. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Thank there's you. Not en- there's not enough mental bleach to remove that one. So, Robert, uh, how much damage do you do to these turtles and the structure? <laughs> 15 points of burning damage. Uh, they are not going to be happy about that. Uh, good news, Copious. Uh, like black smoke left. billows out of the building that you're watching as your compatriot is coming around the other side. Uh, Manfang, you have noticed that uh, Robert ain't having none of that. So it appears to be on like Donkey Kong. So what do you want to do? You might as well join in. I've got my great axe. You know what? When you're going through hell, just keep going. Yep. Shorter distance. What did I just hear that in? What was that on? Oh, oh, that was what's his face. 18, I hit one of them. All right, cool. And I hit with this. Uh, you hit the dwarven speaker. Ah, good. He deserves to die. You know, he's going to be a mariner. Is that, do I add anything? I feel like I should add it. What'd you do? Nothing. No, what did oh, you do? Uh, What'd you hit with? Great axe. Okay. The add plus five. Has it oh, been that long? I haven't been going. I mean, have you played this game before? Nine. 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 When's the last time this kid had a battle? Not in a while. Not in uh, a actually, it has been a while. I leave and nobody wants to fight. You bunch of pussy. They didn't have to fight. Uh, Copius and Felix were taking care of business. Uh, Copius, uh, you see Felix running full on. Uh, and you aren't really sure why. He's got like veins in his Clearly eyes. Clearly, he's like, got but... syphilis or something. Uh, I'm gonna like call out to him one time, but if he's barreling at me, I'm gonna do an acrobatic move and try to go right into a field, into the deepest, darkest shadow I can to get away from this crazy-looking sucker. Uh, go ahead and do stealth, Felix. Do perception. Uh, it's it's a bright full moon. There's there's no stealth to be had. I can't hide in the shadow right now. Seven on perception. <laughs> oh wait, wait! I may have beat you on that one. Fourteen. <laughs> uh, Copius waits until the very last second, drops down flat as Felix runs over top of him, uh, and Copius makes an expeditious retreat into the sugarcane fields where he is attempting to hide from his syphilitic associate who's humping um, a tree who's humping a, who who is looking for the <laughs> lady of the lake uh out in the water leaf uh you noticed that captain haggis crapstain has called for an immediate halt and the boat lurches to a quick stop as his crew is quite proficient at sailing I'm going to go up, go up on uh, where the haggis is at and see what's going on. Ah, uh, there be humans. Humans where? He points to the ice lot and points to the outcropping. Uh, <clears throat> right about here. There are humans. In ragged clothing. Hmm. Nine of them. Nine of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess we have a choice here. Uh, it would seem that Captain Haggis believes there is no choice. He is curious about this new arrival. 
uh, and notices that they do not possess any weapons, ergo, no threat to them. Mm -hmm. So, hence, he is called for a full stop, in which Pierre has said, full stop! And the boat comes to a crushing uh, stop. Uh, he's, he announces that he is going above ground to speak with this rabble. He produces a hat with two ostrich feathers on it that he hasn't really disclosed where he found it uh, and goes up quite gallantly to stand atop the turtle shell of the ship and he hails them. Would you like to go up and help him? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, other Frank's PC crashed. He's rebooting right now. No problem. We'll just tell him that he, those two died. Yeah. Uh, as you go up, uh, the humans back off into the shadows. He looks at you for guidance. I don't know what the deal is with them, but I don't want to go with them hiding again. I don't think going ashore is a good idea at this point. D12 Not without the me. rest of our party. 10. D12 against me, Leaf. Uh, seven. I think you're wrong. He leaps off onto the soggy ground. Hey, everything's okay. Hey. We're all friends here. Uh, as you notice, he continues to go towards the tree line and he begins to slowly disappear in the shadows. Would you like to bail and assist him? Nope. Okay. Pierre sticks his head up through the uh, entry point. Where is Captain, my captain? He went ashore. He saw some raggedy looking humans and he went down to see what the deal was with them. Oh, well. Yeah, you can go. Go ahead. I will go. Hand me a torch. <laughs> Somebody hands him a torch from below, uh, and he jumps out. He promptly falls short, and the torch is extinguished as he doesn't make the jump. Uh, but he waddles up the shoreline, soaking wet, and also goes into the darkness. You hear muffled noise. I'm just, I'm just going to wait. I can see in the dark, so waiting. A few minutes later, which really helps the timeline anyway, uh, Copious, or not Copious, I'm sorry, Haggis nice. and Pierre emerge from the dark forest, followed by nine ragged individuals. And Haggis helps them get up onto the ship. You have nine new passengers. They oh, are boy. human they are dressed in rags, and they are covered in sores, and they don't look real healthy. Wonderful. Oh, uh, hey, Leaf, help these people up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who are they, Haggis? They are escaped slaves from a plantation, and I, Captain Crapstain, feel it necessary to save uh, the individual. Oh, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, we'll he help him up. Losing to be Simon Bolivar or something right now, doesn't he? Oh, yes, yeah. he is. He's he's going to make All his right. own country. Let's get him on board so we can get going. Crapstania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Crapstania. I thought that was a condition you had. <laughs> no, that's what Felix is currently suffering from. Uh, Crapstania is something you get in your underwear. Uh, you guys help these individuals up, and they are very grateful very thankful you notice some of them have mariner tattoos on their bodies uh they are dirty grubby and quite ill-fed uh they are your standard slave workers uh as you get there i guess uh tells pierre let's get underway everybody underway and uh the oars lift and push off even without your assistance leaf as the others go ahead and begin to take care of business pierre is ordered back to make sure that the slaves are secured uh and locked in a room because there is a certain element of trust that is lacking I, i'll go ahead and uh, create good berries and give them to them to eat when we put them in the room 
Sure, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, according to you, Haggis is going to go ahead and move you guys right into the shit. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. We'll go stars. Uh, back over to Felix. Felix, give me another constitution check. Six. Uh, Getting better, at least. She keeps backing up and motioning for you to follow. Oh, I'm going to keep... <clears throat> Copious, uh, from your undisclosed position you notice that he's just kind of straddled with some kind of lady that you cannot explain and i'm i'm hiding in the sugarcane field right correct by the way the structure that man fang and robert are in is on fire <clears throat> not a huge surprise at this point is it no not at all I think uh, uh, Vegas didn't even give odds on that. No way. As soon as, as, soon as Robert showed up, uh, we knew we were going to have fire on something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are there any? Uh, I'm, <clears throat> are there any small critters running around in the moonlit night? Small furry animals. D twelve against me. I'm not sure. <laughs> Ten. Seven. Here we go. No, there is nothing. Are there, is there any uh, branches, uh, broken lit, or, you know, like wood, wood that's down anywhere nearby? Along the creek uh, where Felix is, uh, yep. there are several uh, downed branches. I'm, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to cast Unseen Servant. I'm going to have it pick up a variety of branches and place them at ankle height in front of Felix as he's trying to follow this mirage along the creek path to see if I can trip him up and slow him down until he can regain his senses. Sure. Uh, Felix, give me three dexterity <laughs> checks, please. Ten, twenty-two, and twenty-one. Nope. He deftly walks over each one as he continues to go into the shadowy darkness of the woods, following nothing at all. You do hear a small growling coming from the area he is about to enter. I'm going to follow along behind him. Uh, distance and he can't see in the dark so how how dark is it in the woods is he going to have trouble seeing or he won't be able to see at all yeah, he's but he'll be everything. able to see her <laughs> there, there's no blood going to my eyes anyway i think it's okay <laughs> uh so the unseen servant's still around i can still command him mm -hmm. i'm gonna see if i can light a torch for the unseen servant and uh have the unseen servant follow felix with the torch behind him sure and see if it can you know, just that way I can see where Felix is as he's walking through the woods. You know, I'm going to Photoshop AJ out of this and put him at the Last Supper with the halo over his head, don't you? <laughs> and Copious will try to follow by. I'm going to glance back at the burning building. Do I see it? still see it surrounded by turtles? No, the turtles have actually retreated to a safer distance. They are concerned about the uh, conflict conflagration uh that is descending among the home where the vast majority of the villagers lived well i'm glad we hit the supplies out of the village because that's the only way we're going to get anything out of this place now mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's uh, exactly how they died <laughs> so but i can see where they backed up Oh, yeah. Uh, you're surmising that they are on the bridge watching the burning structure. 
man, some explosives would have been really good at this point. I believe Felix is the one that still holds the single cask of Grogan's Firewater. Uh, what's left of it. I believe I was sipping on it all day. Mm -hmm. There's a the number problem. of World War II movies for just this situation about the enemy on a bridge. But Somewhere gonna, Carl Weathers is just shaking his head. I'm going to follow Felix into the woods to try to monitor for something that's since I heard the growling. That's how another movie began called Deliverance. <laughs> Give me a perception check, Copious. Oh, not good. So Copious does not see the glowing uh, red eyes please. in the tree. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, back inside round two, Man Fang and Robert, welcome back. Uh, you have successfully set the structure on fire. You Yay. have successfully set six of the turtles on fire, and one of them has had his brain almost nearly bashed out of his skull. Who did that? Who did you. What would you guys yeah. like to do? Continue the fight. Fair enough, because they're going to hit you this round. So, uh, Robert, you are high roll. Which one do you want to hit? The one that's nearly dead or one of the other five? Let's knock the one that's nearly dead out. Just to get him out of the way. Sure. Curb stomp him. Yeah, curb stomp him, Frankie says. Well, just, well I'll do uh, burning hands again one more time. 18 to hit. Let's grab his chest and say, Connie Ma, and let's rip his heart out. Thank you, Frankie. One will be dead. Eight. Eight? Yeah, yeah dude, low dude. rolls. Very. Uh, Man Fang, you're up. There are five <laughs> pissed off uh, turtles in there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on. Sixteen. You that's that's that diplomat right there. What's the uh, what's their AC? Twelve. So sixteen hits. Add plus five. These uh, are damage. soft shell turtles. Oh, so where, what's the softest stop part? The skull. Okay, I'll hit there. I got a sixteen points of damage. 16. Two are dead. Four left. Two on each. Let's go for a little payback, shall we? Uh, on Man Fang. A three and a two on uh, Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, 12 and a 14, so 16 and 18. Do either one of those hit? Sorry, only one does. 17 is my AC. Fair enough. Use a murder hobo die. Not effective. Three plus two is five damage as you get cranked by one of the quarter staff. I'll let you go for round three since you were gone so long because you have no idea what's up with the ship. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to start with the strike now. Okay. That's a hit. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Plus five. What is it? Die. That's what I'm looking for. It's been a while. It's been a while. Seven points. Uh, almost enough. Uh, Man Fang? I hit or? It's your turn to it. attack. What'd you roll? Uh, plus six plus. Uh, where, where's your plus eight? That's 14. 14. Yeah. So I had him. That hits. Yeah, I had him. It was 14. Well, do damage now. Maybe I will. Plus five. He still drops his dice. Still oh. drops his dice. Oh my, it's under the fridge. Then you roll this dice because I'm not waiting. He under, under the, the fridge? fridge? How in the hell did it end up in there? Because he can't leave things alone. It's genetic yeah, plus, plus, no, not plus. yeah. Eight, eight points of damage because you rolled my shitty dice. It's your fault. You gave me those dice. Yeah, wait. You're the one who rolled the damn dice under the fridge. Get off. 
On Man Fang, 16 plus 4 and a nat 20. Wow. Uh, Robert, 21 and 18. Yeah, those might hit. Each of you take uh, another crappy roll. Five plus two plus two. Nine damage each. Uh, Copious, as you follow Felix into the woods, uh, the growling seems to be getting louder. Did you want to have your unseen servant try and trip him again? Uh, trip away, unseen servant. Give me a dex check again, Felix. Eight, 14, 22. Eight? Eight, yes. Uh, just as you reach the gorgeous woman, you trip and a shadow leaps over your head. Uh, Copious, a jaguar has arrived uh, and almost took off Felix's head. Felix, give me a con save. Twelve. Uh, holy shit, you nearly got killed. Uh, Copious and Felix, initiative. Twenty-two. Eighteen. Uh, I had an eight. Over here. So, Copious, uh, you get first crack at the Jaguar. Um. So I have still have my packed weapon from earlier. So I'm going to, I'm going to attack it in melee. Sure. Um, I assume right now it's, it's a full on combat in front of me with the Jaguar. Correct. Um, can I use that cantrip that I sent you from last week? Uh, copious, the uh, evocations cantrip. As long as you sing the jingle. Okay. Sure. No problem. All right. Let me attack first. See if I hit with the attack. Oh Yeah. Yeah, 26. Oh, yeah, that easily hits the thing. All right, no problem. Uh, do you have something to sing? I do. Copious, glorious. By the way, there's a light show that goes along with this. Four. Ah, oh, wasted, 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 wasted. Uh, uh, Nine points of damage. That's not bad. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, Felix, you're up. I feel it, but I, I did use that successfully. Is Felix within five feet of the Jaguar? He is indeed. That thing yes. nearly took his head off. Yeah, he has to roll that charisma save. I have to roll a charisma save first? So does the Jaguar, doesn't it? Yep. Ten. Eighteen on the roll. I am unaffected. I assume I'm affected. You are. <laughs> am I still in this trance looking after this beautiful woman? You are not. She has disappeared. And in her play, in her stead is a shadow creature. Copious, go ahead and tell Felix what he's won today. Uh, Felix, did you miss fail your save? I believe I did, yes. Yeah. Ten. So, so yeah, you got to roll one. One die, uh, one die six psychic damage <laughs> because of Three. that e ear piercing music. Ugh. Three because damage. The you're, it, it's going cracking through your skull is the 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 harm, harmonic voice of angels singing the glories of copious B bull bitters. Uh, for the bite, odd Felix. Uh, Copious will get the claws. So on Felix, ooh, 19 plus five. <laughs> Damage? No, that's to oh. hit. The oh, good yeah. news is Copious got hit with a nat 20. <laughs> uh, so the bite, Felix, huge Jesus. Only a one plus uh, three, uh, so four total damage. The claw, 1d8 plus three. Copious takes five. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to make this a wear jaguar. 
<laughs> Copious, your turn. Yeah, I, you know, you it's a real missed opportunity. I'm just saying. You've got to wear it. Yeah, you, you got to at least attack. roll for that. Felix didn't attack it or, or anything. You know what? If I roll a one, uh, it'll be Felix that has to make the roll for lycanthropy. If I roll a two, it'll be Copious. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Copius, you're up. You want to see your did, melody you again? Attack? Wait, I don't remember what I did last turn. All I did was do the saving throw. He failed the saving throw and took psychic damage, so I skipped him. Okay. Uh, so then oh, I okay. I rolled uh, 24 to hit. Oh, yeah, easily. Right, Basically so, 12 to hit this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, and if you roll your save, then you know what the save is. Uh, I rolled another 19, so. <laughs> so I did. Oh God, I'm wasting those. Uh, so I'm eight points of damage. Felix, you also need to make another roll. Charisma. Charisma. Uh, 15 on that one. <coughs> Save on that. I, I think you'll pass. Uh, go ahead, Felix. It's your turn. Uh, this I thing has clearly eaten the gorgeous woman. <laughs> well, I am really pissed, but I think that I, I don't think I have my short swords available at the moment, correct? I think Why it's not? probably, well, I would have to draw them out first, right? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, then that's what I will do. Sure. Unsheathe and slice. And I highly doubt that I can sneak attack this thing because it's actively engaged with me. Correct. Uh,. Oh, where are those? Look over here. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them has a 20 to hit. Yep. Damage 12, is 12. seven. Seven. Okay. And the other one? The other one missed. Fair enough. Uh, it will attack. The bite will go to odd again, Felix. <clears throat> this time a seven plus five. So that's a miss. Copious. Two, uh, also a miss. Flipping over to Leaf. Are you ready to ruin your life tonight? Sure, why not? Uh, as you guys start to round the corner and go into the cove, remember there were two ships, right? Yep. How about you roll a d20 straight up? 19. Now, do you want me to roll over or under to see if one or both of them come after you? I don't care. Over. I roll over. <laughs> yeah, roll I, over. I was going to say. The two vessels have not moved. So you will be able to enter the cove of Dimbo Point uh, secretively uh let's move back inside the burning building that is starting to drop ash on you two <clears throat> go ahead there are four left two of them look really sketchy you mean they look like felix let's see here well we're going to uh oh hey remember You've up. You get like two attacks now. All right, I got two attacks. Jesus! <laughs> wow. I'm attacking my one time. You sure, wait. Sure, no, go ahead. Wait. That's a nineteen. Oh. Woohoo! Six points of damage. You kill another real one. Hitter. You're a real heavy hitter. I am. At least uh -huh. I'm hitting with all I got. Man Fang, are you using both attacks on the same one, or are you going to split them? Split them. I'm going to split them. That's a good uh, idea. 14. 14. 14 so you want to roll both attacks? Uh, no. Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. You want him to you roll for both hits. All right. And then the your one. second hit. Yeah, that one hits is a 19. Right? Not the, the, four, the 14 will kill, so you don't have to do damage on that one. Four or down. <laughs> How much damage do you do to the one you hit with a 19? Automatically, because he hits five five points of damage automatically. He'll still do uh, more than that. He rolled another eight on top of that. Uh, that one is also down. So there is only one left. Uh, odd even. 
The last one drops his weapon and uh, says, I surrender. Fuck you, you're dead. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. You know, we can Witness. use more... <laughs> No, you know, we can use more help on the boat. Boat, more help, boat. But we gotta get him back there. I know, but the point is... On your knees, bitch! <laughs> we have we'll to acquiesce. What did he say? He'll get on his knees. I guess. All right. Let's, let's see where the falling timber hits. Right on top of Oh, him. yeah, that's right. right. That's pretty belly. <laughs> it hits Robert. <laughs> of course. Son of a bitch. Uh, two hit points of damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna, like, uh, no, wait. To five, I'm gonna wait till you calculate that first. Plus nine, thirty. I'm it going sounds to, like he might need some first aid. He might. He's gone. No, it sounds like I'm gonna get the hell out of here and drag a turtle prisoner with me. No, I can get him because if we get out of there, we can hog tie him and we can carry him. You wanna hog tie the turtle? Yeah. I'm out of the building. Uh, same. I'm, we're gonna, we're all gonna come out of the building, including the turtle. Fair enough. Felix, Copius, uh, the Jaguar awaits. Copius, you're up. <clears throat> What'd you say to hit was? 12. Oh, yes, 18. Okay. And then uh, still casting the cantrip on the attack. So uh, save from you or otherwise take guy 10. And then I did. I failed that one with a six. Oh, sweet. I did 11, uh, did, uh, 15 points. That is enough to knock me down. Felix, you will also need to make the save since you are within range. My save is 19. I think I pass on that one. You, you pass. Do. You take a die six of damage, but sure, you pass. Wait, do I? I think you're messing with me. Uh, you have the body of a dead Jaguar, uh, a fine sports feline. Copious. Uh, Felix is sweating a lot, an enormous Again. amount. I'm asking, are you do? Are you feeling okay? What was going on here? You just wandered off into the woods. Potato. Wait, did the uh, did the jaguar get killed on that one? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna explain. I'm not okay right now. Did you not see that big cat tried to come and just go rip my head off? I'm a little nervous about it. Jeez. Why did you wander into the woods? Didn't, didn't you see the lady? <laughs> it's been a long time. I mean, we've been sailing the seas and here there was all these. There was no lady. <laughs> yeah, there was. <laughs> there was no lady. <laughs> I, I, trust me, I've been around the block. I think I know a, when I see one. I think you're crazy. She ran right out here and then I. I don't know. I tripped on something or something. I was. I by the way, you, you see a torch being held by nothing. Yeah. I think that's going to spook me a little bit. Well, have, you, we, have you seen him do uh, Unseen Servant before? I think I. Wow. I don't know if I've seen it. <sighs> I don't know if Felix was around when it happened. D12 against me. You, you were there when the zombies tried to eat Copious. Nine. Yeah, you've seen it before. Okay. Even in your adult brain scenario, you can probably figure out it's his stupid unseen servant. <laughs> Over to Leaf. Leaf, uh, you make it into the cove. You, of course, are concerned as being a reef shark. You saw two ships. Uh, I assume you want to go up top? Yes. As uh, you throw the uh, gantry point open, you get out, you notice uh, the moon is starting to pitch down lower, uh, but there is no pursuit coming in through the narrow channel. Uh, but as you look towards the city slash Dimbo Point Village, uh, you notice smoke is rising in the area that uh, you had left your compatriots. Uh, there also seems to be a large crowd of turtle gathering at the bridgehead. Uh, and that would... Are we close to the woods where we hid the food? Oh, yeah, you're right at the docks. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, let Hoggis 
and uh, Pierre Lapoupou. First no, mate uh, to you. Yeah, yeah, he'll be a first dead mate when I get done with him. Uh, where the supplies are, and tell them to start getting get the guy uh, the hell other hands and start getting the supplies loaded up while I go get the rest of the party. Uh, Haggis would like to know who died and made you captain. Uh, when we're on shore, he's not a fucking captain. He can do as he's told. He accepts that as a reasonable alternative and commandeers Tony Dakota and the two turtles who are understandably curious as to why part of their village is on fire. Go ahead and roll against me D12 to see if they want to investigate or if they D12, want D12, this sucks. One. They, they follow orders. Uh, now, how are you going to get to your associates looking at the map that's shared on screen? Well, I'm doing. A, I'm not much for sneaking. Let me let me look here. Good, because there ain't no chance of that happening. Yeah, I can't really sneak, so I'm just going to kind of try to keep close to the the walls of the building and make make my way over that way and keep my eyes open. You will notice that they have essentially a bridgehead here on this side of the bridge. Ergo, you will not be crossing over it. Uh, they are beginning to fortify their position as smoke billows from Area 14. Not to be confused uh, with the Air Force. Area 14. So that's the temple. Uh, no, that is the structure where uh, your associates have set it on oh, okay. fire. The temple the, is I, over here at 10 and okay. 16 under construction. Uh, that's what I meant, the one under construction. Then I'm going to go ahead and cross the uh, river there and make my way down the other side, try to get into the, the little bit of woods there. Are there piranha? No, I don't, yeah, bring it on, baby. There are no piranha. Okay. So you cross over one and two. Uh, cross over the stream. Uh, the current's fairly staunch there, but you can go ahead and make it. Uh, you will now be over here on this yes. side. And can now make a beeline as you notice uh, Tweedledee and C are right there facing off with the bridgehead. Let's go with... That's Manfang and... Uh, uh, Manfang and Robert. Robert? So okay. Let's see what they want to do are they on because i can't see manfang them. is manfang uh you are squaring off in the area of the bridge and they uh tortle seem to have made a bridgehead here blocking your egress you and robert are on the other side with your tortle prisoner using your finest diplomatic that. skills how do you want to handle this little snafu okay. uh, i don't know i really don't know how i'm going to handle this i'm going to <laughs> signal. i'm going to signal i have i i'm going to signal Wait, we have hostage we have Hostage. Do you want to say that in Dwarven again? Yep. <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to understand that one. <laughs> oh, is your hostage with you, man? Thing? Yeah, we have the hostage. I have. Yep. Well, you can tell him to. You can talk to him. Isn't he the one in Dwarvish? No, I'm pretty sure I killed that one. Correct. Oh. Yeah, I got angry, so I killed him first. Um. Ock. Yeah, that's that's a lot of times like. <sighs> I'm going to tell him negotiate and point. Wait, no, 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 no. That's a bad idea. I don't even know what to do now. Um, oh, I have no idea what to do, man. You're you're on the right track, man, Fang. Just go I'm, go with that. You've got I, I'm going to make a finger gun and point it at this man's dome. Nice. Uh no, an arrow. How about this? An arrow. A, a picture worth a thousand words from the Vietnam conflict. Uh, <clears throat> Don't you actually have like a weapon in your hand? Yes, a blade oh, yeah, axe. Yeah, uh, close to his, not on his throat, but, very, but close. 
Okay. Not very, very close. Uh, yeah. The line of total assailants are not moving across the bridge. They see the precarious nature uh, and they send out. Uh, who do they send out? They send out uh, the speaker that you guys originally dealt with, not Tackleberry. It starts with a T. I just do like Taggart. Taggart. You mean the actual village elder? Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. So Taggart, who can speak common, and know me, who can speak common, uh, ask for calm. They ask for calm. Calm. Okay. Everything's I, okay. Don't I panic. take the blade away and have the prison have our hostage stand up. Okay. All right. I ask them why are they barricading the bridge? Or yeah. You have set our building on fire. You have killed our people. Okay. We didn't set the building on fire. They did. They tried to attack us. They dropped their torches, and at the, they dropped their torches, and they caught the door, caught the wood on fire. Nice recovery. That's pretty good. Yeah, Very pers good. Persuasion check. Oh God. Persuasion. What's my persuasion? Do you have a deception skill? Yeah, or de you know what? Either one: persuasion or deception. Uh, deception has zero, and persuasion has plus zero. So I better roll good. That is a 17. So I have the salad bar and the main line sitting next to each other. That sounds reasonable. Uh, do you still have the blade up against the turtle? No, I took it away. I took it away and had him stand up, remember? Mamba Jamba, <laughs> Mamba Jamba. Uh, your excellent diplomacy skills appeared to have worked until the turtle spoke. Uh, if you could speak turtle, you would know that he yelled out, he's lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because so you have I'm left gonna... a witness. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm going to tell them that, remember, that this man attacked us and wants to, and he tried, they tried to kill us. Why would you believe someone who tried to hurt us when we try to protect you? Yeah. You know what? I'll give you another roll for that one, and I'll give you another plus two. Seriously, that's exactly that is Ooh, that's I, some serious diplomacy there, man. Thing. Fourteen plus two is sixteen. Put it out there. Taggart asks for the return of the warrior. Okay, I cut him free. Push him back. You know your dad's gonna kill you when he gets off the phone, right? He's going to kill me. <laughs> so yeah. do you push him back towards the bridge to get? Not him push him, but like. Nudge him. Give him a nudge. Yeah. Uh, he turns around to make sure you aren't going to shoot him in the back <laughs> like Felix would. Uh, Felix and Copius, you have returned to yes, the burning embers and you see the exchange going on. This is some real <laughs> high level East Berlin stuff going down. <laughs> Only you aren't getting anybody in return. Exactly. I'm going to look at. I'm look at Fikits. Does he look unstable still? Oh, yeah. Like, man, this has gone just upside down. I'm not even going over to that mess. <laughs> I say we try to get to the beach and look for the ship. That's fair. Uh, do you want to cut through the jungle? With the, the rest of the panther family that's waiting on us? Well, no, it would be, uh, let's see here. It would be the other one. Wait, was building 14 under, like, construction? Nope. Nope. Okay. okay. Construction. My Blaming excuse has gone out. Another excuse. Uh, the jungle in question, to get you back, would be uh, over here. Yeah. Could you show us the stats for a few more seconds? I just want to know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I knew those guys were tough. You like that one? <laughs> Bomb crusher. Yeah, oh, that, no. That's the female captain. Oh, no. Just so, remember that the female captain has a plus one ring on her finger. That's right. Of course, she's dead. Ah, that didn't work at all. 
Uh, okay, there. Now we're back to it. So you're saying the woods that are along right here. You're. Let's get the to the side of the creek or the river. Not yeah, because because everybody is here. Yeah, Manfang is here. You guys, I'll I'll give you here. And you don't know where leaf is, but I do. This don't taste like vodka sauce. Don't like it. Yeah, I, I have no desire to go down to that bridge. Yeah. Oh, you aren't crossing I, that I, bridge. I, I'm going to try to see if Felix yes. bomb over there. I'm not going back over there. They may look calm right now, but at any moment, Robert's going to cast like cone of fire across everything over there. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah, so that's that's my plan. S stay in shadows and go through the jungle. Okay. Uh, perception, Felix perception, leaf perception. I tried it. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Say it was that bad. Nineteen. Twenty three. That by any means, but they were falling. What out. was yours, Copius? Nineteen. Copius and Felix, you hear noise to your left. Leaf, you hear noise to your left. I'm going to look and see if I can tell what it, what, what it is I hear. There is a hideous creature without a shred of hair on its body moving <laughs> swiftly through the jungle woodlands. Yeah. Is it about right. three feet tall? Yep, I'm trying to avoid them, sticker bushes. One of them I freaking think I cherubs. Yeah, I think you should shoot it because it's Valentine's Day. Just shoot him. Paul Lightning? Yeah. Burn that down. Uh, yes, you see your two associates just as your two associates spot you. I will ask them where Robert and Manfang are. I did I mention the fact that something was on fire, did I not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You may ask. <laughs> yeah, we're, the, the ship is at the docks. Hagas is loading supplies right now. We need to get the hell out of here. There's two portal warships out of the bay. Where's Robert and Manfang? Let's go. Where's Robert and Manfang? Do you see the do you see the smoke fire in the house? No. Yeah. They are saying goodbye to the locals down at the bridge. And then they're going to be with us momentarily. Okay, I'll go get them. You head to the ship. That sounds like a plan. It is the bonfire of the vanities uh, at this point in time. Uh, Felix, Copius, you head to the bay and you notice there ain't no bridge here. Yeah, I, I, I don't If you're going to get there, you're going to have to cross that river. <laughs> I'm already soaked with sweat. I don't think it's going to make any difference. You think that, except for the leeches and piranhas. Felix's shoulders. Okay, leeches and piranhas. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. Uh, yeah, I keep picturing the piranha part. I remember that role when uh, Leech crossed that water. That's right. And he made it across that. just fine. He Is there for anyone piranhas that's... for me? He didn't roll for eels yet. Oh, boy. Is there anywhere that's narrow enough that it looks like I could make a dashing jump? Nature check. I love this idea. 16. <laughs> yeah, you think you spot one. Oh, perfect. There's a slight outcropping of a large cypress root there, but if you time it correctly, you could use that as a lift and just bound straight over it. Of course, if you fail you're going to have wooden teeth. Sounds like it's a bit of a gamble. But it is a bit of a gamble, but you're pretty sure you're, you're using a loaded dice here. I think you can, oh. you think you can do this now. Do you want to carry copious with you or nope. let, oh. yeah, yeah. Hop on my shoulders. Let's go Yoda. Come on. Uh, -uh baby Yoda's staying right here. All right. Suit yourself. I'm going to do ahead. it. Go ahead, Felix. Make the jump and make sure that you do this as you do it. Yeah, um, you need to I'll, look cool. I'll have Copious snap a picture of me as I'm doing it. Make sure to turn the flash on. That's right. I don't want to do it twice. What is my modifier for this? Dexterity or acrobatics. Either Let's one. do acrobatics. Sure. I'm proficient in acrobatics. There you go. 17. Uh, not only do you hit the cypress root, you push off at the exact moment and land with a flourish. Easy peasy, Copious. Now, 
Good. Throw a rope across, and I'll I'll try to I'll I'll you can pull <gasps> me across the water. He's like, now you gotta do it too. I am three feet tall. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right, you got some good sized legs. You could probably me, jump. Uh, rummage around here, and I'll see if I can throw you a rope. I knew you were checking me out when I was in that soup bowl. Leaf, you spot Manfang and uh, Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, they've now given away their major chess piece. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you can tell what the turtles are going to do. Oh, let me find my insight here. That would be a 24. It looks like they're getting ready to bum rush those two. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm going to come up close enough to hail them and tell them we got to go now. Okay. Remember when uh, Indiana Jones first got a hold of that statue and took off running across the open field with all the villagers? Yep. Welcome That's back. Us. That's you guys. Uh, Manfang, you and Robert are going to make a run for it. Leaf is going to have a head start on you, so he's going to be okay. I am going to recklessly shoot crossbow bolts at you two, hoping to shoot you in the <laughs> ass. I am going to pull my tortoise shell up a little bit higher, just so it doesn't hit me in the head. Your tortoise shell's in front. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to backwards run. Uh, I am going to Better shoot not. at you three times. Do you want to run backwards? Yes. Give me a dexterity oh. check. <laughs> Dude. That just gives him an opportunity to shoot you in the face, man, Fang. Better to take one in the ass, boy. Five. Five. Eighteen. <laughs> Suck it. Fair enough. I, I will shoot three at each of you. Six, a nat 20, and a one. For Robert. Stewart. Stewart's a good. 14, 13, and 6. Uh, you're going to take 3 plus 1, 4 damage. Robert Me? Zeppelin is also going to take 4 damage. Yeah. Uh, oh, as an arrow catches you. Uh, Leaf, you run down where you made the crossing and you find Copious. Throw me the rope. I'll throw you the idol. <laughs> Felix. <sighs> A lot, of, a lot of focus here. Hard to focus. Hard to focus. Rope. And I'm going to say, uh, Copious, can't you swim? Uh, do you remember when we were underground, how well I swam then? I'm a little fearful of trying to swim in an, an, an actual running body of water. I'm going to cast jump on Copious. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. There you go. I'll do it. Do it. Uh, at advantage, do magic, dexterity check. Do your magic fairy leap over the river. It's a good thing that was at advantage. Woo! Dude, out of my 12th state. Uh, let's see. 17. You also hit the cypress root and bound forward. Just as Felix says, I found the rope. We can make sure Leaf doesn't lose track. I don't need it. I'll just dive in and swim across. Let's see if there are piranha leeches Bring them on. eels. 19. Nope. You swim across doing your best Johnny Weissmuller and get to the other side. Uh, man, Love man. Johnny Weiss. The only Tarzan. <laughs> just like Adam West. The, the only, only real Batman. Batman. Uh, man Fang, uh, you have seen Leaf dive in with just nothing but bravery and balls, uh, what do you and Robert want to do? Mute. Does he look like he's not getting eaten? Yeah, I have no, no problem. He looks like he's an Olympian. They should hang seven gold medals on him. I don't know about Robert, but I know I could do this. But I'll stay behind and help him. You know what? No, 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 no. I say Robert swims too. Throw him in. All right. <laughs> Do you want to roll for him or you want me to? No, 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 no. You roll for him. Okay. Yeah, there you go. For Robert. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> That'd be five. Oh. He's going to find the leeches. Oops. Uh, Manfang, you hear him and see him look like an alligator doing the death wrestle uh, in the water. I didn't help him because he's about to die. There you go. Go ahead. Dive in. Whoosh. Let me dive in. What do I need to roll? Uh, dexterity. Ch- are you well, diving? Like you're diving crocodile? Land, or are you going to jump across? I'm going to. I'm going to help him because he's about to die. Okay. Uh, another five. You get leeches too. <laughs> okay. I throw Robert out of. Can I like push him and like get him up on land so he can at least crawl off? These are regular size leeches, not giant oh. leeches, according okay. to the guy. Uh, so you guys will swim directly across. Uh, the key, the code to get in, I, I'll send it. They're now giant leeches, aren't they? Because they've sucked nope. blood out of me. They're Just regular size off. leeches, uh, but it's going to take you a few minutes to make sure that uh, they haven't They're all gone where no man has gone before. <laughs> oh, that's hey, gross hey, thinking hey, about hey, that happening. Um. Watch, uh, hey. what, what was the one, uh, Stand hey, By me. me? Yeah. Hey, um, Leaf, can you heal Robert? He's almost, I yep, think he's I can do that. He's Thank looking you. awfully pale. Yeah, hey, a little pale. Can, can you heal him once we're on ship? Because right now there's a bunch of turtles chasing your butts. I don't want him to get shot by an arrow and die, because then he'll get angry at me. Uh, How's that mind, Felix, or Leaf's like, problem? I don't care. Leave. Yeah, just give me a minute. I can't. It takes me a minute to find stuff. Right. Well, Leaf is trying to figure it out. Go, 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 I got a 10. Okay, fair enough. None of them reach your nethers uh, (laughs) on your arms and face. Uh, Felix is leading the way to the dock where the turtle warship is at. Uh, I would imagine even in his uh, heavily medicated state, he might think, God, I hope this is ours. (laughs) Uh, They have perched themselves in between both docks uh, and have finished, or let's see how much they have loaded up. Where are my percentage dice? Woo! They have taken 91%, 91 uh, of the hidden goods and loaded them up onto the ship. Ooga booga, ooga booga, here come the turtles. Uh, as you guys make a break for the ship. Everybody run into the ship, D20. Or I shoot you in the ass. Straight D20. Straight D20. Straight, 13. 13. Natural 20. Uh, The arrows from the crossbow bolts fall far behind you as the turtles are trying to get across the river. Uh, You can now load yourself up on the ship. Haga says, hey guys, what's going on? How you been? Captain Copius is screaming, tour, tour, tour. Well, let's get out of here. But Pierre says, Captain, my captains, where is Phineas Latrac? We don't need him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The turtles ate it. him. The turtles ate him? The turtles ate him. Last we saw him in a bowl of soup. We heard something about a gnome and being put into a steaming pot of water in some witch's hut. Odd Robert is last. Even Manfang is last. Oh, my God. Manfang is last. Manfang, give me perception check. They're cannibals. <laughs> Somebody yeah. said the shaman took him for a husband. 19. I got I got 19. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a squat gnome holding a bag of some kind of fruit headed your way. Guys, bananas. guys wait for me. <laughs> uh, you are going to D12 against me, man, Fang, to see if you get on board the ship first. Before Phineas or before yep. the arrows? Before Phineas. 
raspberry lemonade with the same water because uh, Alex says they don't carry the other stuff. Idius is ahead of you at God, that, no. and drops one of his blue java <laughs> oh, God. Can I grab it and keep running and say I have it, now go. It's a banana peel. Oh, then keep going and throw it. Oh, no. oh you're going to step no. on it, dude. You're going to make a dex check. <laughs> <laughs> that little gnome is going to die. And the rest of his garden gnome buddies. Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mario just dropped a banana on me. <laughs> Greatest video game ever. Your modifier. Ten. 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 Nope. You hit that blue job appeal and you careen out of control and landing on a spike. Oh! For five hit points of damage, but you are on board the ship. Phineas, holding his bag of blue java, just grab this, and it's another banana. He's going to pull you up. <laughs> That's so much gun. I'm grabbing his hand instead of the banana and pulling myself up. Uh, D12 against me. Oh, God. D12, he's going to fall off. I'm going to leave him. Seven. So. Uh, you have dislodged his entire bag of blue java, and they fall into the bay, much to his chagrin. You crawl your way up his arm and get into the ship as he screams, holy shit, there's turtles coming at us, and you can hear funk, funk, funk as crossbow bolts begin to hit your ship. Booga, 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 booga. Uh, you dive down into the innards of the boat, as does Phineas on the other side, uh, as he gets to the base, and you get to the base, and you look at each other, he goes, thanks, those were all the bananas I had. I say, shut up! And stand up and keep walking. I'll go there and then prepare to debark. <laughs> uh, Captain Haggis Crapstain uh, currently is in control of the vessel, unless someone else wants to go ahead and claim seniority. Yeah, he's doing great. He's doing great, man. Hey, watch I'm your not mouth. Claim a seniority, but I'm gonna tell him to get us out of here now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going up, up to the top. I'm going to tell him to get us, back us out and head to sea and do it now. Do we notice that all the oars are moving, by the way? Or is it just the same four oars that should be moving? You're going to be in. There are more oars moving as the sailor slaves have no desire to be recaptured by the turtles. They will not move in direct synchronicity with the others because they have had a day and a half to practice their craft, but they will not hinder your movement. With everybody on board, the ship pushes off and begins to move out into the bay. Funk, 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 as more crossbow darts hit your ship. Wait, before we take off, the drawbridge thingy that we walked up into is up, right? Well, uh, Phineas closed his. Okay, is mine open? Yeah, you didn't close yours. I'm going to run back over and close mine. Okay. Uh, you know what? D12 against me. God, I don't want to know as I do that. 12. I'm going <laughs> to shoot you in the arm. 10. Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, 12 plus 4, 16. Does oh. that get you? I'm also broke. Uh, no, my armor class is 18 with the shardo shell on my front. As you reach up to pull down the thing, thunk, it hits just above your hand. <laughs> uh, the ship lurches forward, uh, and it is clear from everybody's point of view, you are making a hasty getaway. Now, fortunately, Leaf may or may not tell you that there was no pursuit at this time. As you get out into the mouth of the bay, Leaf, give me another D12. Uh, Damn it. 12. Yeah, they might have served That's going to be tough to beat. And a 10. Uh, <laughs> in the fading moonlight, you notice the two vessels are still at least a mile away. The question is, which direction do you... Show me the map. Want to go? So, 
Uh, let's increase it a little bit. Hey, are, are we out of the bay yet, or are we still in the process of leaving the bay? You are right about here. The two They're vessels are over here. I think we need to go, I, I'm going to say north, the, the direction up the map. A ways and then head out to sea. Fair enough. Uh, was, um, and literally, yeah. Let's see if Felix can follow commands again. <laughs> uh, Copius, do you want to take over the captain's seat again? I, or? I, no, I'm I'm going up to uh, reassert the authority. But if Haggis has been doing a good job, I'm going to uh, self-identify as Commodore Copius and promote him to captain of. Uh, so I'm going to make him a commander on board ship, so he can continue to control whoever's steering and swinging the oars on this ship. I'm just going to give him directions. Pierre and Haggis seem to be doing their jobs swimmingly. Uh, even with the nine underfed but good buried sailor slaves. Uh, so I'm going to congratulate them on the job well done. Let me persuasion check. You're no longer cursed, so it should be easy for you. Yeah, right. It comes off as sardonic and rude. <laughs> uh, Thank you, you have, so much. You have not won over the sailor slaves at all who look at you as an overbearing SOB at this point in time. Well, that's uh, not entirely wrong. It, it is kind of accurate. Yeah, so that's, that's, that is okay. You guys will head north. At this time, there will be no pursuit what direction do you guys think you will choose? Do you want to continue to go uh, on play-by, or do you want to go back to play-drill? Play-by was the turtle city we were heading towards. Mm -hmm. And then we're now in a stolen turtle ship, and we've destroyed a turtle village and killed turtle marines. And have turtle prisoners. Wait, wait, I have no turtle prisoners. There are two. No, I have two portals who don't know what happened in their village right that is correct yeah all they know is they're still we're given the last direction they were given was to help row our ship you know honestly we can set them ashore well we can no. or you keep them on board ship in case we have any uh interactions with other turtles yeah. my brother true I, uh, that's true. Or we could ask him and give him a choice. I vote we give him a choice. Editing out the whole, we set fire to your village and there's a good chance that your loved ones are dead. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Pers persuade times two. Uh, it has to be Robert because none of us speak turtle. Yeah, no problem, man. Roll for Robert, because I don't feel confident rolling for him. Um, I'm sorry, but it's Nomi, and she speaks... Uh, Nomi's Nomi. not with us. Nomi's not with you. Oh, it's not Nomi? Oh, okay. No, Nomi was on the bridge. <laughs> 15 and 19. They feel a little adventure would be fun. Okay. All right. So at this well, time, you have Robert. nine humans, one tabaxi, Two gnomes. <laughs> uh, and I only for 30 minutes and all hell breaks loose. All we had to do was kill a second turtle and, you know, run away. Can't you guys be evil and conniving? You're going to have to rewatch the episode to see how bad it yeah. happened. By the way, you had leeches on your groin. Oh, Actually, Jesus Christ. It's a stand I by me moment. Hey, I burned him off. On his groin. Hey, Grandpa got him off for you. I burned him off. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. He gilded Just a food. torch. Not a big deal. He had a leech on his wing, dude. Hey, I want to talk. I want to pull Leaf aside once we're yep. well out to sea and all this is going on and say, listen, something's wrong with Felix. He went nuttier than a fruitcake on the island right before all hell broke loose. I don't know what he's doing. He kept and carrying I'm, on about seeing something. And I'm going to tell you chasm. that. I think that something that that crazy barmaid bitch gave to him is eating his brain. 
Because he has it. these spells and gets to sweating real bad. It's the brain. I've had to, you, I've had to restore him several times now where he was on his way downhill just sweating like a pig, man. Bad. Do you remember? When but it's all that horn around. Was, it's catching up with him. Hmm? Oh, listen. When we when we were trying to go to that, that lost city, do you remember what that Gnomish, Gnomish expedition said? One of their members went insane after being there. That's why they had to come back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Is that what happened yeah. to Felix? Is he just going to get crazier and crazier? New options. Yeah. Our maid keep... or the ruins. It's one or the other. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. And you're going to have to keep an eye on... Uh... And Robert Where turns into a rat. So I guess again, uh, now that you are Here's restocked with ninety-one percent of uh, provisions for our party, we don't have enough food for everybody that's on this ship. Well, if we would have stuck with my plans, we would have cooked the turtles, drugged the carcasses on, ate them, well, killed we, the rest of the village. Just but genocide. We were getting enough provisions. If it was 91%, the original provisions were enough to basically sail anywhere in one go. If we mm -hmm. go to uh, play drill or play block, play bly, is that right? Play bly. Uh, play drill. Games that we have. We do not go to play bly now. I'm sure word is going to get out real quick. But we also couldn't go to play drill because they hate like turtle stuff. Remember? I hate like total like ships and artifacts. And you, and you have artifacts. And yeah. we do have some artifacts. So, Arrow Bay. I, if yeah, I think our to best bet is to head, get away from Catland and Turtle City. You go to Dempsey. Well, we, you go to Dempsey. What was but if that? we go to the, the, go to the, turtle, the turtle capital. Play Pearl Bay. We can still try to sell it. That's what? true. It's fine. Yeah. Keep it and go to Dempsey. I Dem think we're, we're, we're Dem I don't want to Dem sail into their into, into the turtle capital in one of their warships. Probably not a good idea. Where's the turtle capital? Fatar. Let's not go there, people. Come on. Let's well, think about this. But if we if we sail to the, the backside of the island and do an overland trip into yeah. Fatar, we can some do that. of the Souvenirs and the, the coins are worthless unless we try to dump them in yeah. Fatar. Well, then won't we do that then? I say we let's go back to Cragwitch. I say alternatively, we just blow the whole place. I say we burn it all, burn it all to the ground. Yeah. I say we put Robert in a dinghy and have it float behind the ship. <laughs> I'm sitting with the dinghy right now. Now you have uh, the halfling. Contingent uh, Dre Glary. Awesome. Hey, Where's um, that? Right here. Let's sail to. Dre I'm sorry, Glary. I didn't see where you. Yeah, I can't see where you're pointing either. Oh, okay, no, I can't either. It's because uh, everybody's bar goes up on the side there. So. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that was the problem. I Plus, I was looking at my own cursor. Yeah, I, uh, I see it. That is the Halfling uh, homeland. Hey, let's go. Well, I don't know because Felix has a problem with tossing halflings. If you did, have forgotten already, that used to be your hobby back in... Uh... I have not forgotten. <laughs> but I was not going to mention it either. So. Oh, I'm not going to. Uh, well, I, I have to. Hey, Didn't we sail off from that? Didn't we like, sail off? Cause there was, like... No, but I remember AJ, the last last time he did a halfling toss, he threw it into the side of the door frame and killed the halfling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of realization. That and was a had, long time ago. Teeth. That's where you got your gold teeth. That's right. That's right. That's right. So what are we, <laughs> we going to do? We get the most value out of this stuff if we sell it in Fatar. I, we sell in Fatar and then leave Fatar <laughs> and go to Thornfield. Well, if you don't sell in Fatar, you got to have to dock a distance away from Fatar. We or, cut, we'll dock on the opposite side of the island. It's a short distance overland to get to the city. But I think you're going to have to dock, dock off the island and kind of – I don't know. Like dinghy out there with some Every, everybody, give me an Arcana check, real quick, please. Arcana. Oh. Sixteen. Plus two. That'd be a twenty. Dirty. My Arcana. Four. Zero. Nine. 
Acrobatics, Arcana, negative, negative three. Ah. My Arcana is also negative three. <laughs> well, look what Arcana uses, Frankie. What? Intelligence. Look, look to the right, yes. That would be intelligence. Uh, Leaf, uh, Dempsey is held by the Amazons. Ooh! Hey! I knew there was something about her. Who is that? Yeah, that is what her is that. She won't. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Felix, you need to relax. The thing you got to remember about Amazons is they don't like men. Well, well, they, like them, too. they like them yeah. just for brief periods. And then they and eat that's it. They're just like I think they're going to be very disappointed how brief of a period it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> With you? Yeah. Hey, here's Two minutes thing. is all I need because it's so amazing. We're still trying to dump all the stuff we collected yeah. on this gig. We haven't returned our money yet. Well, let's go around. Let's do the Fartar thing. I vote for Fartar. I agree with Fartar. Let's get the most bang for our buck out of this. Yeah. Then we can dump whatever we don't need at that point and then sail on. So I've got all these freaking tortle gold pieces that we need to get tortle rid of. Tortle coin. And short of melting them down and reselling them that way. So are we doing heart or star? Star. Which side is Fartar on? The heart side? It's dead center. It's oh, uh, dead center? Panama City. Okay. I like the idea of going heart, so then we have an escape route over there across the sea, the as Drake opposed Larry. to being stuck in the Cascades up there. Yeah, the heart side then? He wants to go to Yako Sea. Yako Sea side. Which side is closer to where we're at right now? You are here. Oh, hell. damn it. <laughs> I, tell you, I changed my vote. If we go Star. to the star side, we have two star directions side. we can try to sail away through. And let's see if we can hide, get to find a place to hide the ship. But that's the, the big thing is we have two total warships that are sitting somewhere out there by where yeah. we're at right now. I say you go around to the Flim Bio uh, Yako Seaside. You, you see where the stars are at, Frankie? You just put on there. That's the warships. I uh, wonder. Sail. Go ahead, we, Alex. If we sail up through that strait to like the northeast, if we could get close enough where we might be able to get high on our ship and use a telescope or something to see, to look on shore and see if there's anything. You mean a crow's nest? Yeah. I don't think, I don't know if we have a crow's nest on board or not, but we've definitely got a mast at, because we've got sails and we've got somebody that can use spider climb. True. I don't know what that'll get us though. Unless there's a harbor. Captain Jack Sparrow is. So what's the, all right. Well then, Frank, what is the time we're talking about to sail clear around to the 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 side the end of that to the heart of the heart? You guys with the food that you got can hit pretty much anywhere in this area uh, comfortably. Because oh, we can go down it without any problems. Yeah, you do have 12 extra mouths, yeah. uh, and you didn't account for nine of them. Uh, but you can pretty much get to Dre Glary, Dempsey, even I2, which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, ape shit paladins. <laughs> well, then let's sail around to the heart side, then, guys, and park, land there. While some of them forage, we can go into the city and try to sell this stuff and pick up more supplies while we're there. And the only yeah. risk we have with that is if we can't get more supplies in Fatar because something goes horribly wrong, we're going to be desperate for finding provisions. Which you would still have enough to make it to Pearl Bay. Most likely. Or play drill. Or now play keep in drill. mind, these are only capital cities. Uh, just like Dimbo Point, there are probably other places on this map. These so are just the major supplies. ones. And yeah, uh, I2 down here, uh, apeshit militaristic paladins. Let's avoid that one. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Hazel, so York? everyone, who's up for heart? Going to the heart. Sailing the long way around to the heart. I am. I am. Hard it is. So I, it is. I assume you want to avoid these two. Yes. 
We'll go the other way around. Yes. We're going northeast, if that's the directional. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You got it. And we're going to put in at a bay away from where that where the straight narrows and the capital city's in the middle. So put it on right there at the R, where the far top, Patar. No, if we, we want it close what, enough to make it Haggis a take short the distance. Yeah, but we'll have Haggis take the ship back a ways to hide and every day return to a, a preordained spot. I think that's going to be a mistake because Frank's going to roll to have Haggis stoned out of his mind and he's going to get lost. I can tell you that right now. Look oh, at the no, smile and smirk on his face. You know it's going to happen. Here's and it. Haggis is going to end up over on the star side of the ship because his ass is going to get lost. The problem with this thing is last time we didn't tell him when to come back. We didn't tell him where to go. So we and had no he, idea. And if you're wrong, you get stoned, and he's trying to stay with the ship. We'll just look as we come around that, that bay there. We'll look for a spot to put the ship and tell him to go back there and then come back every day and check for us. That's all. Nope. I think it's going to go south we'll for you. Yeah, you see the heart trail? That's the trail Haggis is going to take. He's going to Fork Bay. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. And oh, wait, you said fork. Never mind. Fork, fork, fork. yes. Fork. Oh, uh, Not uh, fork. I, I heard what I wanted to. Uh, Ashana is a human settlement. Oh, right let's go here. there. I changed my boat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Felix, Felix changes his boat. He doesn't want to go to Fark Tar anymore. He wants I to go to Ashana. Felix doesn't Fark, get a boat anymore. Uh, Felix is outvoted. I demand a All rebound. Right, yeah, <laughs> Listen, yeah. your ghost girlfriend doesn't get a vote. Do you have any evidence to support your claim? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we're going to Fartar on the right side, underneath the R, set in, and then make the trek through. Yes. Now or keep in mind, you still have a mount. Yes. But we you have, still we have, have mounts. We have Yeah. So we we can equip once we get to a, a safe place for the overland track. If we can get even closer without you know seeing the city um, or a village, because we really need to pay attention for other civilizations that close to the capital, mm -hmm. then we can set in somewhere, mm -hmm. unload the mounts, do the overland, hopefully in a day or so, and a day back, and unload goods. That works. So everybody's agreed to try that plan. Oh yeah, sure. And then uh, 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 fart stack will get lost and sail to the far side of the Cascades. Yo, uh, ye of little faith. Uh, let's go. Final thoughts, uh, Jason. Uh, I have serious concerns about the sanity of many members of the crew at this point. <laughs> I have I, a drug addicted uh, first commander. Uh, someone who's seeing ghosts and God only knows when he's going to walk out onto the water while we're sailing and a were creature that's on board ship. And a naked baby like gnome. That's the only same creature on the ship. Fair. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin. And also the and also the other gnome who has the craps. Well, was the diarrhea. Not yet because he lost all his blue java. Ah, good. That's a good thing they lost all his blue javas. Middle Frank. Uh, I think uh, it was interesting. I, I wish I could have uh, burnt the rest of the village down. That that's always a go-to for me. And I really like turtle soup. And I have a hankering for cheese. Well, you know, maybe uh, you'll get both in like Fartar. Tommy liked turtle soup. Uh, little <laughs> Frank, what'd you think? That was great. Uh, my diplomacy skills have increased. Exponentially. Did you dig out the dice underneath the fridge? Yep. Yeah. Okay, very good. Did you hear the loud clang of the shelf on top going? Yes. Frankie muted it right before the loud profanity came afterwards. <laughs> Why is Torcia's diplomacy is fixed? <laughs> That's why um, I gave himself a point. <laughs> Alex, what'd you think? Uh, I'm very nervous about Felix. 
But I'll tell you, Ashana, I want to go to that human settlement. And I'm also very glad, I hate to say it, but I'm very glad that Phineas Latrec made it back on board. He, I I hate him so much, but I love to hate him. You want to kill him. I, I do. I, I, I was legitimately going to make sure that the ship took off if Man Fang beat him to it. So oh, I'm oh the dice god smiled upon me because I would have been sad to see him go. He's just an NPC <laughs> character that just brings out the worst in everything. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't really so want him to go because I want to put them away permanently. Both Ten up. years from now, you will say, you know, I played in a campaign and there was the most annoying person ever. And, and then there was also was, Phineas Latrec. That's right. That name was Copious V. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank Sr., you're having fun still. I, I, first, I want to say something to Frank, the youngest. Your powers of persuasion and your ability to lie and get what you want do not relate to the real world. You try it on me, I will whip your ass. I lied our way. I lied our way out of us killing all the turtles. Oh, that's what yeah. I was going to do. Good job, son. We did. Uh, that, I think it's all going very well. It's fun. Very good. Uh, it's, the nice thing is, it's a lot more things. It's not just a bunch of fighting and carrying on like that. There's just a lot of goofy shit going on that we have to deal with. And that's that's more realistic. I, I'm reading that you guys like the goofy shit. So oh, hell yeah. Focus there. I'm yeah. still surprised that uh, we aren't using the uh, fake lips more. I mean, well, that's, that's, that's up to the person that owns those damn fake clips. Well, to be fair, he's insane. <laughs> yeah. That's no, a good no, point it there. Says, the last sane werewolf hunter. Sure. Yeah, that works. Yeah, Follow no, on Twitter. Also, Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. If you want to join our Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join the talk show or a one-shot, Hobo Inc., Twitter, gmail hit us up we will get you in there thanks odd fish games for being our sponsor thanks pirate dog dice for being our sponsor thank you for watching everybody uh i hope the rest of your weekend is great everybody wave and let's say goodbye Bye. Bye.